Hello everyone, my name is Shuang Li. I'm a watercolor artist. I paint a lot of water scenes in my landscape. Today I want to show you a little tip on how to create visual effect for water spill over rocks. This tip can be used for ocean rocks or river rocks or the rocks in the inside water of the creek or pond. Either way. So what do you need for this tip are flat brushes. Uh, these are two that I commonly use and then sometimes I have a uh, additional one, but they are very similar. And you need few clean tissues or paper towel and you need a clean water. And that's important. You don't want the other color of the dirty water get into the uh, lifting part. What you do to the very beginning is to use a different brush, clean it up, then um, touch upon where your uh, lifting area you want it to be. So I'm thinking about here. Just lightly touch it with a clean water. You see the shininess on the brush. It just touch upon that. And uh, maybe a little bit of here, but don't paint it, just use water to touch it. And uh, maybe one more here. Okay. Um, then I needed to lift out some at the top, the top make the water spill over this way. So I'm going to also wet this part. If your painting is uh, in the middle of the process and uh, still moist, you don't need to do this. You just use that the moisture over there. So when it, let it uh, sit for a few seconds, at the same time, you wet your uh, flat brush. When it is wet, it, come out, use the paper towel to make it, it we call it a thirsty. Make it, you know, the brush that has a little bit of water in there, but pretty much most 90% or more is gone. So then it can, you know, lift out the paint this way. So here we go. So let's lift the top a little bit. So I'm going to lift the top. Sometimes the, it's not wet enough, and then you need to re-wet this um, area. So I'm washing the dirty lifting out pigments off that paper. Make it a lighter and even soften the edges. Why you use a flat brush is because a flat brush has more um, lifting um, weights on that. If you use the tipped one, it's very hard to get it. It's mainly soft. Okay, and these flat brushes are made of uh, synthetic material, then it's pretty tough. So I wetted it somewhere here. I wanted this part of the whiteness connected to the bottom. So this one I'm trying to do. Okay, you see come out of some, you need to constantly wash off this part, otherwise it's not going to go. But when you do this, make sure you're using sure mark which means you're not mopping this area, not like you're mopping your uh, home floor. Don't do that. It will only make the dirt, the other paints goes to the lighter part and make it, uh, your water flow look like dirty. So pretty much I'm there and you see it's pretty getting so much lighter. And a little bit more stream here. So the softer part, it's connecting to the leftover whites. And so this top part is pretty much over. And I remember I wet it here, so I do a little bit of lifting here. Just the one brush stroke will do it. Just give the hint that something is spitting through the rocks. Well, in this case, it's the ocean water. Okay. 
and looks like, so after this, looks like uh, maybe here needs a little bit more, just do a little bit more. And sometimes the tissue can also help, but make sure you also don't use it to mop your paper. Just get it once hard, take it off. And here, I think I will do just a little bit more. And then we're done. You don't need all of these exactly the same. Uh, you can uh, do some long ones, some shorter ones, and some uh, connected um, areas. With that said, um, it is also um, sometimes helpful if you wanted to enhance this effect. You see here is a pretty good, so I'm going to dip a little bit. So if you wanted to enhance and make some areas as a pantry white, what you can do is using a little bit of opaque paints. So this is the opaque paint I'm using. Uh, this one happened to be gouache. If you use watercolor, you could use uh, water, watercolor titanium, which has a little bit more body of that. Just very uh, small touch of that. Get a clean brush, clean water in this whole tip is very important. So one brush stroke. Another one here to create that stronger effect over others. Okay, this, that's it. That's the tip that for creating the visual effect of a water spill over rocks. If you look for more tips like this and the, the techniques I use for painting waterscapes, looking for my instructional videotape.